Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interesting life.com. You're joining me out here on the canal just down from good old Narrowboat Tilly and today we're asking, what on earth is that thing? So, this is something that many people may have seen actually on the canal themselves or in my videos and every now and then you come up to a bridge that's got a door in it. Now, before you start coming up with crazy theories of what it could be for, let's have a look at some of the features around this bridge. So, if we take a few steps back, then you can see that the door in this bridge is located on the far side away from the towpath. There is a public right of way up and over this bridge, so you can get to the absolutely beautiful Colmere that's just out of shot over on the far side there. And this is a video that I've had a lot of requests to do, or at least a question I've been asked a lot of times in my various videos is what on earth are these doors because very often I will go past them with the camera on top of the boat filming a trip and not really even think about it when I put the video up but of course if people are unfamiliar with these then they do look quite fascinating and you can see there on the close-up that it's amazing something of this age is still almost perfectly in line there and um, the bridge itself you can also see is quite wide and that's important to know or maybe not important to know but it gives you the idea of the depth of that hole going through the bridge especially as we have a look from the other side of the bridge now you can see probably just make out just over there where there is that little same uh, door shaped hole that's been bricked up many many years ago as the camera moves down now then you may well get your final clue if you're unfamiliar with what used to be stored in these holes as you can see there's a little groove cut into the stonework there and if we look down on this side of the canal at our own feet you'll find there is also a matching slot and originally these holes would have had planks of wood stored in them so that if needs be they could be dropped down into these slots to block up the canal so it could be drained for maintenance and general working. You'll also see things like this sometimes dotted around. Again this is an empty little, uh, I don't know what you would like to call that, I don't want to say a coffin but a very similar looking stone tomb like thing that would also have stored some of these planks uh, once upon a time and you can see here if we have a look on this bridge too we've got these matching slots on either side and hopefully in just a moment I'm going to have actually managed to find somewhere with some of these planks of wood actually in to show you. I can't believe it but it really has taken me almost six weeks to find a set of these planks to get a good up close photo for you. These were down at Mad Jack's on the Langothlin Canal. The only other photos that I've got of some of these planks are these two pictures from an awkward side on angle as Tilly was heading into one of the Aston locks down at Queen's Head on the Montgomery Canal and my goodness me what a beautiful evening of boating that was as you can see here but anyway we're focusing on this rather adorable little shed contraption that these planks are in and even better than that we're about to cut to the bottom end of the seven miles of the Montgomery Canal that are linked up to the Langoflin and actually look at the planks here in action blocking up the canal so on that note I suppose I'll say I hope this has finally answered any questions about why and if some bridges have these little doors in them feel free to check out my other videos for loads more boaty stuff and of course if you want to help me out then please do consider checking out my short boaty books you'll find links to those in the description along with facebook and twitter and all that sort of stuff for loads of canal scenery and photos but until the next time just have an absolutely fantastic day keep it boat worthy and of course farewell <laughs>